Okay, so I've tested cascading deleting, cascading deletion, and it works. So what I've done is creating three modules, module one, module two, and module three. So module one is uh, has main data, module two has data of the parent and some other data, and module three has as parent records from module two. So this is a relationship between three modules. So what I did is creating two workflows. So one workflow that runs on after delete of level one, and then one that runs on after delete of level two. So when I delete a record here, for example, if I would delete this record, then first the cascading delete module one, workflow would execute, and then it would execute for every child in module two. So how do the workflows look like? So inside them, they're identical, except that uh, the trigger here is running on module one and here on module two. So let me open this one. So the trigger, let me show the details. So it starts after delete, with the after delete event. So I tried a bit before delete, but I got some errors. So I did it with after delete and I used the later the old record value here. So you can see it's uh, the handle is cascade delete test and the module, module one. And here we have the initial scope. So old record is something that I use later on. So the iterator. So first what it does is when a uh, record is deleted in module one, it goes to the child's of module two. So that's the handle here. You can see the handle of module two, then the namespace. And here we have the query where we get parent ID is equal to old record dot record ID. So the old record is the data that's being stored from the old record is accessible after deletion. And the target is a child record. So with this child record, it's being it's being sent to the function, and what it does is uh, the compose record delete for the child's record. That's uh, that's simple. And then the when it finishes with the loop, there's a termination. It's just an end. So I can open the second one, which is exactly the same, with the difference that this is a model handle module two and not module one. So you can see here that the iterator goes to module three, of course, because it's the third module, not the second module, that's the one before. The query is exactly the same, and the function is the same. It is a child record. So those two workflows are practically identical, with the only difference of that the trigger is running on module two, and the iterator is running through modules on module th module three. Okay, so when I delete a record here, when I would delete A, then the expected behavior is to delete these three records here that have as parent A, and these three records here, this one has parent A1, this has parent A1, and this has parent A2. So this one, this deletion of the single record would return in deleting three child records, and of this one, do two, and this one, one, and this one, zero. So let me execute it, and delete. Okay, so as you can see, the page has not refreshed with the exception of this table. So we could force a refresh with a prompt, but let me just refresh by going one second to the admin panel and then back to the public pages. And now you can see that all the records that are that were linked to the parents record here have been deleted. So if I want to delete these three records, they are delete. They are all linked together. Just hit delete. It's gone. Let me go back to the page, refresh, and you can see it's empty. That's how simple it is. Okay, hope this helps.